What's going on, babies? What's going on? Hey, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday. I believe it's the 14th, if I'm not mistaken. It could be. Not, don't always get that right. But I got the year, 2018. <laughs> um, what you are seeing now is the beginning. Uh, I just started snowing probably 15, 20 minutes ago. And they are calling for 5 to 9 inches of snow. We have a winter storm warning. But it's actually still fall. So, yay! Can hardly wait. So, it's coming down pretty good. Uh, Heather's on her way home from school. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, we're going to just kind of settle in. And I brought wood in already because I knew they, they were calling for the storm to be coming. So, I uh, got uh, wood in already in preparation for that. Okay, so first of all, real quick, I was going to talk about Michael Annetti. If I'm saying that last name wrong, please forgive me. He is the lawyer for Stormy Daniels and has just been charged with domestic abuse, which I think is quite ironic. Uh, he has been really, uh, felony domestic abuse, too. So it wasn't like, so whatever he did, he, he put a good whooping on somebody. Um, he. Uh, is out on bail, fifty thousand dollars bail. So he was book charged. Uh, they, you know, and released on bail. But uh, and of course he's saying he's going to be completely exonerated, and he he looks forward to doing that. Well, he's probably a a shyster, dirty lawyer anyway. Not that uh, I mean I don't know how you guys feel about lawyers, but to me when somebody charges you, you know, between a hundred and twenty-five and five hundred dollars an hour for their services. Uh, I don't really think anybody's worth that. Just like I don't think baseball players are worth the kind of money that they get either. But, you know, that's that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, yeah, he's been charged with domestic, uh, felony domestic abuse and or violence. So, um, very much interested to see how that one pans out. But uh, that's kind of funny that he's the lawyer that represented Stormy Daniels. And I got Mr. Lucy over here looking for love. But uh, crazy, crazy. So anyway, um, just wanted to let you know you go a couple things. Well, first of all, I want to talk about real quick, too. So talk about that. So I, I definitely want to hear what your guys' opinion is of that, what you think of that whole situation. I think it's quite funny myself. Not, no abuse or domestic abuse is funny. Okay, let me just say that to start with. Um, but that it would be this, the lawyer for, you know, that... Stormy Daniels, I think that that's kind of funny. That I think is funny. So, so I want to clarify that domestic violence is never funny. So yesterday's video, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you my take on the very best comment, the very best comment of yesterday's video. Somebody made the comment, and they said, "We never know what we would do unless we are faced with that situation." And I, you know what? That is probably the very best comment out of every comment on there because you know we can all sit here and grandstand and say what we would and would not do now all of us can okay but until you are faced with that situation and you are in that situation none of us truly know what we would do until it was that time I got a pretty good idea what I would do but that's just me <laughs> anyway but yes I mean realistically until you are looking down the barrel of a gun or looking you know either way having it facing you or facing somebody else you really don't know what you're going to do until that situation happens so i think that was probably the very best comment of all of them to be honest with you and for the people that uh said you know how horrible it would be that i would take from somebody else listen the reason that i prep so i don't have to take from somebody else so that i can actually help other people but realistically, and this is a realistic answer, guys, and I don't sugarcoat anything and I don't BS. Again, if you are in that situation and it's you or them, nine times out of ten, guys, and probably ten times out of ten, I don't care who you are or what you say you would do now, it's going to be them. And that's the reality. That's honest. Okay? So uh, I prep so that I don't have to take from others. I prep so that I can help others. That's my ultimate goal, is what I want to do, okay? Uh, hopefully that... Hey, 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 hey! Knock that off! Get out of there! Bad puppies. Hey, come on. Hey, no, no. Go. 
anyway, so that is uh, no. Now go play. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I still have to be the parent. They're such good dogs, though. They really, truly are. Uh, what I've been doing in the mornings, because it's been so freaking cold, I like to stay out here with them. I don't. They're not on any kind of leashes or anything like that. So what I like to try to do is uh, I'll sit in my car and I'll let them run around for like a half an hour. <laughs> so, But anyhow, uh, sorry, I got off track. But anyway, like I said, none of us really know what we would do unless we're facing that situation. And uh, if your kids are starving and they're looking at you to feed them, I think most of us are going to do whatever we have to do. That's that's the reality. Uh, so let's hope that that never comes to that, okay? So anyhow, uh, what's going on that we got right now, uh, the T-shirts, we're going to have, I think three of them are going to be coming up right away on the website, probably tomorrow. I think they're going to be available. So... Uh, whoever wins the t-shirt on the giveaway contest, which to be able to be in the contest, let's go back to that real quick. To be able to be in the giveaway contest, you have to go back to my 50,000 subscriber giveaway video. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to like and comment on the video, okay? And that's it, and you're in the contest. So, um, But whoever wins the t-shirt is going to get to choose from what we're going to have up on the website. You get to pick what t-shirt that you want uh, to have if you're the winner of the t-shirt okay so anyway um so right now we should be hopefully by tomorrow have three t-shirts up on the website that's the game plan don't hold me to that but uh, that's what the game plan is right now we do have two coffee cups also available on the website and there will be others available as well uh, we're going to change up some of the designs you know um and stuff like that too and that's what we're basically doing right now so anyhow so that's what's happening uh, there and uh, what else was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you something else. Oh well, again, I want to mention real quick. Uh, I do have a Prepper Nurse One channel now on Facebook, and I, you know, I'm basically uh, doing like pictures and stuff like that on there, and it's just a way to interact and stuff like that. And also on the website, we do have a communication uh, blog on the website at PrepperNurseOne.com, so that you can go on there. And you can communicate with each other on there as well and talk about whatever topics uh, that you want to talk about. And the other thing, again, Legacy is still doing their sale right now. For the 360 meal package, is still available. So if you're interested in that, it's normally $9.55. And right now it is $6.59, I believe, which is a 30% savings. So if you are interested in doing that, and like I said, that's a good, a good way to do it. You know, that's 360 meals. You know, that's pretty much you could have one meal a day for a year for one person. So, I mean, that just gives you an option. Uh, it's a nice way to have things. Freeze-dried food is definitely one of the things that you should have in your preparation as far as your long-term food storage. Uh, dry beans and, and rice and those type of things as well. Honey, uh, you know, all those type of things. And then, you know, canned goods, obviously, as well. And uh, any kind of canning is a, another good thing to do. So that's that for now. Um... So I'm just trying to remember if I mentioned everything. But uh, So the other thing I really wanted to talk about real quick, let me see what time we got here. I don't want to get too long into my topic. Okay. So I wanted to talk about this, the California wildfires, and uh, the interesting path that the fires are taking, which is this, this same route that they want to put this commuter train through California. So I think it's kind of ironic that these fires are all hitting those areas where they want to go in anyway, and put this commuter train. So if those areas are burned out, now well, then we can just give the people the money for what they've lost and send them someplace else and say, yeah, we shouldn't be building there anymore. I mean, it's kind of ironic, in my opinion. So, is it been done on purpose? Uh, I'm going to leave that up for you guys to decide what you think. Uh, I definitely want to hear what you think uh, of these fires out there. Crazy, crazy weather, crazy year. I, I don't remember... You know, I mean, it's it's obviously still November, but we're going to be getting literally five to nine inches is what they're saying. Uh, because I'm at a higher elevation, it could be more. So that'll be interesting as well. So we'll see what happens. But uh, So that's what we're facing today. That's what we're looking at. I definitely like to hear your comments, what you think about the lawyer, and also what you think about the California wildfires. Okay, guys? Um, I am still working on, i got to make a couple of phone calls, actually, and talk to a couple people 
about getting things up, set up so I can do live uh, live shows. So that is definitely going to be in the books. I plan on doing that, and so and then uh, you know we'll get that going. So anyway, I'm going to jump off of here for now, and I will talk to you all all you guys later. And uh, I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great day, okay? Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Somebody's here. That's why I'm motioning, okay? So um, you can do whatever you want to accomplish. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay positive, guys. Prepper Nurse 1, out for... Oh, I, God, I forgot to say it again. <laughs> I'm going to start remembering, I promise. We are all in this together. That's one thing that's real important. I think a lot of people lose sight of that, okay? So we are definitely all in this together. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.